Welcome to Paranormal News on the Para-X Radio Network. Paranormal News is produced by Genesis Creations Entertainment. I'm your host, Bonnie Vent. Paranormal News is sponsored by the new ebook, Is My House Haunted? A Practical Guide. Have you ever asked yourself the question, Is my house haunted? Looking for a do it yourself way to find the answers? This ebook walks you through all the basics. There are also forms that you can fill out to log the activity and your experiences. For more information, please go to www.sdparanormal.com and look for Is My House Haunted? A Practical Guide. Our first story is from contactmusic.com. Nicholas Cage is spooked by his new haunted home. Actor Nicholas Cage's home in New Orleans, Louisiana has him so spooked he refuses to sleep there, despite paying nearly three and a half million for the estate. Cage bought the legendary La Lorie Mansion in 2007, reportedly the most haunted home in the historic city, constructed during the 1930s. Cage says it's in the French Quarter, and at any given moment, he has five or six ghosts surrounding his house. The family has dinner there, but no one ever sleeps there. Cage thinks he might sleep there at some point in the future, but he knows he'll be alone when it happens. The actor, who is aware of the legend before making the purchase, insists he's respectful of his haunting guests. Madam Perlman is in talks with MGM to develop and direct the studio's remake of the classic horror film Poltergeist. If he signs, Perlman would work with writers Juliet Snowden and Stiles White, who were picked up last week to pen a new version of the 1982 film, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The original film featured a classic haunted house story filled with all kinds of childhood fears. It was directed by horror icon Toby Hooper from a script co-written by Steven Spielberg. British comedian Ricky Gervais got the fright of his life when publicity for his new movie was ruined by paranormal activity in a Hollywood hotel. Gervais was recently hosting a series of press junkets for his new movie, Ghost Town, at the Roosevelt Hotel in Los Angeles, but left in a hurry when spooky happenings scared him and his co-workers. A terrified movie executive revealed that their work was disrupted by a string of supernatural occurrences. The exec tells British newspaper The Daily Star he wanted the junkets at the Roosevelt because of its ghostly reputation but he got so much more than he bargained for. A photo shoot was wrecked and two runners say they saw the figure of a lady in a full length mirror. The final straw came when a production assistant stayed in the room earmarked for Ricky and claimed to have been freezing cold on the hottest day of the year. He said he woke up with someone whistling in his ear even though he was alone, then heard a giggle before being pushed out of bed. The Roosevelt has long been known as the most haunted hotel in Hollywood after years of reported ghostly goings on. For more information on these stories, please go to www.sdparanormal.com and the Paranormal News feed page. Don't forget, sign up for a free subscription to Paranormal News. Thanks for joining us today on Paranormal News. If you'd like to sponsor or advertise on Paranormal News, please send us an email at paraxnews at aol.com. You can listen to Paranormal News on the Para-X radio network at www.para-x.com. Please check out their other fine shows and hosts. Or join us at paranormalnews.mypodcast.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Bonnie Vent.